Hey guys, my name is Batimio, and welcome to another episode of Mind Games. This is a video series where I do my best to inform you what I'm currently thinking on the battlefield. So, where I'm expecting enemies to come from, why I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, for today, we're going to be playing on my favorite map, Strike at Karkin. I haven't actually played this map in a really long time. It's going to be a guy coming right up here. Yeah, there you go. Um, I haven't played this map in a really long time because, well, busy with other games and also Aftermath came out. I've just been consumed with it. It's such a good DLC. Um, but I decided to go back to the classic for today's episode. Uh, hopefully we'll have some fun. I am going to be playing with the F2000. I don't think it's the best choice for this map. Uh, there's a lot of long corridors and this is really meant for close-up. I mean, it's it's got a decently manageable recoil, but I would prefer probably something more along the lines of the AK. And there's a lot of guys on this point. All right, I'm gonna get onto the roof if I can and kind of scope it out. There's just a little too much chaos down there for me to feel comfortable. Oh, gotta fall back. Pick it up. Pick up the first I died in here. Let's get him. Uh, can I get him? Nope. Too fast. Let's get a quick reload and then try to loop around. One guy's in here with me. Let's be aggressive on him. He might have been looking for me. Nope. Guy behind as well. Ooh. I was a little worried that I wasn't going to be able to take him out because the Magnum doesn't do very well when you're suppressed. One guy pushing up. Gonna pre-fire. Alright, falling back. If I didn't pre-fire there, he probably would have had the advantage and killed me. And since I saw that he was being so aggressive, pre-firing, I wasn't like wasting any bullets. Okay, so I have an ally kind of pushed up, so they're they're gonna know we're here. Since it looks like he's taking some shots at people. So I'm gonna try to hit him from a slightly different angle if I can, and kind of mix it up. Yeah, it looks like whoever he was going for is dead now, or just moved on. So let's move, let's loop around the uh, the sides of the trains here, and see if we can hit him from a different side completely, like just absolutely completely. Sniper maybe? I thought I saw some glint. I could be wrong though. C is really hard to capture. It's out in the open. There are a lot of different ways for the enemy to get from you or to get at you, and it's just not really a lot of fun. Let's get this revive. Alright, two guys on the side. Looks like they're head looks like they're distracted by trains. Yeah, they were. Perfect. And the only way I know this guy is, is is because of the minimap. I can see where they're pointed but with their triangle. I can see the where the bullets are flying. And it really makes it easy to to figure out what they're doing. Looks like there's a couple over there. Nope, from the right. <laughs> Like I said, it's really hard to capture this point since there's just so many different angles they can shoot you from. So I decided that I am going to try and push on to the very far left side. It's a little dangerous because this is their spawn, but if I can use this uh, pool to my advantage, nope. There's apparently a sniper off in the off in the distance there. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get a revive from my uh, my ally. Yep, nice. Where was this guy? That guy was in the tree. That doesn't look like a sniper. Where's the sniper? Okay, he probably died. Okay, my ally just died up, up, up above. Or not up above, but in front of me. I think I just killed whoever got him. Couple more on to the right. Let's see if I can flank. I don't want people to be killing us from behind once we get onto the objective. That's never that's that never makes your job easier. So if you can clear them all out before you you push on and forward, you're gonna be in a, a lot safer position to take the objective. Yep, some more behind. I can't tell if they're spawning back there or I don't think there's I don't think there's a spawn there. I know there's one on the left. Yep, see like right over there, there's a spawn. And there's one more sniper right here. Okay, we got D, so they can't spawn. So let's let's try to clear it out. 
I saw at least two, one more on my mini map. And I am getting sniped from somewhere. I, I really don't know where this sniper is. One's in the building. I probably should just push up and not stay out in the open and be completely vulnerable. If I was this guy, I was, I was gonna say, if I was this guy, I'd probably be upstairs. It's the safest spot. You have elevation advantage over everyone. So, I, I chose correctly. So all the enemy team right now is, has is F. And it appears like they are all up in the rafters. Oh, one's down below as well. Alright, got him. I would really like to get up there, if we can. Or just die. Um, but if we can get up there, then we're going to have a pretty large advantage over them. Alright, so I just got sw switched to the enemy team just as we were winning. Like, really winning. Now we're completely capped out. Uh, so that kind of sucks. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to be able to come back from this. But... I mean, our best bet right now is to try to take, like, A and B, but there's no way we're going to be able to get over there. Like, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but... Like, we have tanks, basically camping all of us. Recons with automatic pistols. Yeah, there's there's literally two tanks right outside my door. I can't I can't push out. All I can do is try to keep, try to keep people up. Ah uh, man, is there a guy up there? Yeah, there is. What I'd like to do right now, my. I was gonna say is to get into the other, the larger room, but I don't think I'd make it. No, no way I'm gonna get that kill. And it doesn't even look like that room is doing any better. Anyways. Let's see if he's gonna push on. Can I get this revive? Might as well try. Alright, two down. We can make it late. We can at least make them work for it, can't we? throw a grenade. I think he's probably going to get a revive off or try to. Did I get an assist off on that guy? I think I did. Or, yeah, my ally probably got him there. Uh, I don't know if I can get that revive. Nope, couldn't get it. No, 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 no. Uh, I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. I don't think anyone around me is a, is a medic. Uh, well, that's 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 game. That's that sucks that we that I got switched on over the enemy team. I guess it happens. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Mind Games. If you did, or you just want to support my channel, I always appreciate it when you give my videos a rating. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, have a good one and take it easy.